Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to Team Hospital in Dada Dara Far West Region, Nepal. Uh, here we are demonstrating a bubble CPAP system that we've set up here. Um, we're using a nebulizer because um, oxygen is very hard to get to in this place, and also um, it reduces the risk of ROP um, in, new, in the premature babies. Uh, so we're using this nebulizer as our driver. It will go to a humidifier that will humidif heat humidify um, the the gas for the baby. Uh, we're only using sterile water as well too, just to make sure that we don't get sedimentation at the bottom of the pot, um, and also to treat the air and humidify it for the babies um, that need um, that need warm, moist, humidified air. Um, because of their fragile airways and also their inability to maintain um, heat, um, especially if they're compromised by being premature. After we treat the um, gas that's going to the baby, um, also noting that we're using 110 volt, um, so make sure our volt guard is on that. Um, we have this nasal prong kind of set up um, with the different connectors that we've had. And um, this prong will be tested before putting on the patient and basically the expiratory limb will go to an underwater seal here that you see. So it's very important to note that the water level is always set at whatever the zero mark is and then measure with a ruler five centimeters. Um, and then you want the bottom of the pipe to reach the bottom, uh, the five centimeters. So five to seven centimeters of water pressure is what's recommended. Um, Another important note to have is that you should always have a pneumo kit um, because if in the unlikely event of a expiratory limb kink, you could cause a pneumothorax. So just being very vigilant to make sure that it's always bubbling at the right time. So we'll demonstrate this and just to make sure that it's working fine. Um, we'll test it before we put it on any patient. Right now I feel some gas coming out through the prongs, which is good. I'm just going to include it to simulate um, being on a patient. And unfortunately, it's not actually bubbling, but that gives a, a chance to troubleshoot the system. So we want to check the connection just to make sure it's tight. And as you can tell, it's actually bubbling right now. So it's working quite well right now. There are no leaks in the system. And this is what we want to be seeing. Uh, we want to see it um, bubbling um, at the right water level. And also, um, at the right water level here, so actually a better side would be to see it from this side where the water isn't like agitated as much. And then the end of the pipe should be at the five centimeter mark so that you're actually getting five centimeters of water. And so this would be a very important thing to chart um, as well too. That is the bubble CPAP here. Thanks for tuning in.